Hi guys, Brooklyn. Welcome to my channel. So, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I upload videos twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if you are a return subscriber, thank you so much for being paid, love and support my channel. And I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. So, today's video is going to be my top five. <laughs> I'm going to speak. Right. Today's video is going to be my top five eyeliners. So, I've got pencil liquid and gel so i've got them all on my bed so i'm just gonna get through them the first one i have which is a gel one it's this maybelline i think it's a super what's it called again no i think it's called their eye studio gel liner but i will put the name up here i think it's called super something but um, it's just basically like a nice, sophisticated pot gel liner. This stuff has been around for absolute years. I think about 12, 13 years it came out when gel liners were all the rage. They've kind of died down at the minute, but this gel liner is quite good. I don't have it on now, but I'm thinking of starting to use it more. But it's been in my kit for a wee while, so that's what it looks like. It's well loved, as you can tell. It does come with a wee brush, but that brush is in my makeup like, brush bag for the kit. So, um, yeah, I keep that in my makeup bars kit and I love it. It's quite easy because gel liners are, are so hygienic because you just dip the brush in and it does um, both eyes usually because this eyeliner is so black. It's literally so black. It's so pigmented too. I'll try and do it all over swatch if I can. It's dry a little bit, but I've had it for like a year and a half, so what they can expect. It doesn't go, it's not going to stay like... A really really thick silky for long but it still does feel decent but obviously it's dried a bit but it's not like rock dry but that's the worst swatch ever but that's how dark it is now if it was swatched with a proper brush it would be even darker because it is so inky but um doesn't look like that in this swatch maybe the center but it's because I use my fingernail for the swatch and so I'm going on my um fingertip that's why it's like a weird looking swatch and it's like right around the edges but once this is on with a proper brush that will go proper inky black it's so good it does last all day you can use this in the waterline too which i have done in the past and it's fine completely fine use it on your like lash line the top lash line even the bottom anywhere because gel is quite good especially for sensitive eyes i think i'd recommend gel over liquid unless you get like a hypoallergenic formula so the liquids but if you've got very sensitive eyes definitely get a gel it's just much more better and that one's around 10 pounds i think could be less could be more but i don't know but around about 10 9 pounds that mark um so i'll get into the liquids i have got two here so this one is the um nyx epic ink eyeliner in black now this one's quite old i've had it since when i got married i wore this liquid eyeliner i should get it replaced but i haven't i haven't used it in ages it's just basically like a pen form it's herbal or i don't know why it's like a big black herbal came on the brush but that's what it looks like er er <laughs> that's what it looks like lure but it's basically like a wee brush tip eyeliner it's still so inky black like look at that it's so inky oh definitely will it be buying another one of these because they're so good and yeah but i don't think i feel comfortable putting it on my eyes anymore because it is two years old so no but it's quite inky it's around eight pound i think this one is so it is decently affordable this will last all day i wore it on my wedding day two years ago and my eyeliner and everything stayed beautifully put that whole day and it was a proper hot summer's day i was wearing a wedding dress i was like running around getting pictures taken dancing talking away everything and normally if you're sweating and all and you're doing things your makeup and eyeliner just strips down this one stayed put all day so i definitely recommend it especially if you are a bride so yeah um the next liquid one is this W7, um, what's it called again? I, I, Captain. 
it's to w7 i i captain liquid eyeliner now it's different liquid eyeliner different but like applicator it's not a pen where the next one is a pen this one's like more of a traditional brush on liquid eyeliner more of a the traditional type one it just looks like that a silver type brush applicator to the next one but obviously it's not a pen form it's like just a dip form and we'll do a wee swatch as you can tell that one's really really inky they all kind of are that may be inker than the next one come to think of it i don't know then that one's dried down that one's old this one's like a few months old it looks like blacker than the next in the Maybelline. It actually does. It looks like sort of black. But it is a good eyeliner, like a liquid one. It just defines your whole like upper lash line beautifully. And it does last a good decent amount of time too. I think there's only a couple of pounds for this liquid eyeliner, which is quite good. I got it from my advent calendar last Christmas. And we love them ever since. I started using it a few months ago and I haven't looked back. This one. It's just so good. It does have a like, ball. I think it does have a ball. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I think the next one. Yeah, that one has a ball. I was wondering. But this one is so good. And it will last ages. So all of the pencil eyeliners have pretty much got two pencil ones. But then they've got three different colours of one of them. And they're all rimmel. <laughs> this one is the Exaggerate Scandalize Coal in black. Um, it's basically the, the really twisty up eyeliner and I've had this a few months and it's lasted ages. I will do a swatch too. I haven't this one on now. It is decently black, but I mean not as black as the W7 one, but it is like on the eyes it looks decently black. Like I have it on like the lower lash line and also on top of the lash line, the upper and lower lash line. And it just looks amazing, like it really, really framed my eyes and this stays on says pretty much all day it's so good it doesn't budge or anything i absolutely love it and it is around four pound you can get from boots super drug them places and you can get all of them they're pretty much widely available everywhere maybe the w7 one you can get like more bargain shops and next ones more like bigger stores but they're pretty much widely available so handy this one being a retractable sort is um because if you're traveling you don't need to bring like um a sharpener so you can just take your eyeliner and not have to worry about bringing a separate sharpener which cuts down on space in your luggage in your makeup bag so it's so so handy because it's just ease of use and it's quite easy the applicator because just use the edge of the applicator and it just gives you a good precise line I just love it, I absolutely love it. Last one, which I have three colours of. This is also Rimmel, it's their Scandalized 24 hour waterproof pencils. Now I have the green shade, which is um 009, I think it's called Gilded Gold. Yeah. But it looks more green than gold, it says Gilded Gold, but it's more like a khaki colour. And then I've got this one's all ripped off, so it's hard to say. These two are both ripped off. That's basically a nude colour in the black one. So I'll do a swatch of them. Um, I do actually have the nude one on in my waterline. That's the trick I'm doing with my eyeliner to make my eyes look bigger. It's a two um a black on the lower lash line, like just a smidge of below my waterline, and then also on the lash line. And then I take a nude and then do the waterline to make my eyes look more bigger and popped out pretty much like make them pop so the black one just looks it needs to sharpen so badly it's the worst watch ever but um that's what looks like there that's black and then the green which is pretty much like gold but they're saying it's the green which they're saying it's gold looks like this needs sharpened as well like i don't know why it's called gold because it's not it's like green but it's so pretty. Sometimes I even wore it instead of black. Sometimes if I fancy a bit more of a different colour, like putting it under like my waterline instead of doing the black, and it's all the same kind of thing, but a bit more of a pop. Um, then the noodle swatch too. So I sharpened this morning, so it's nice and precise. The noodle it's hard to show up because it's quite like skin toned. If you can see it there, that's what it looks like. 
and as you can tell I have it on my eyes too there. So yeah, these are so so good. They're so creamy too. Like the creaminess of these pencils are just proper beautiful. And I love the way like they just glide on the eyes so easily. They glide on the waterline as well. And um yeah, I just absolutely love them. And they are only around four pounds, so they're quite cheap to buy and Believe it or not, I have, I've had this black one for over a year and it's still going strong. It's still a little bit left. This one I've had since before Christmas and um, it's still like I've sharpened it a couple of times, but it's still kind of a good amount there. This one I got after Christmas, but I haven't used it as much, but still like near enough a full size. So they're quite good that way. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous. God bless. Bye.